everybody. Welcome back to Card Curiosity, where we try to find the best possible ways to make a good return on your investment in the sports card world. Today, we're going to open up a couple boxes of 2024 Leaf Metal Football. And this is an unlicensed product, which means that you're not going to see any team logos um, and things like that. But you can still get really big cards, autograph cards, one of ones, low numbered stuff. And so what that means is that you know we typically don't recommend ripping unlicensed products, but sometimes you get players in here maybe this is their only card and so you could still find something pretty valuable but you're not going to hit something that's going to be worth thousands of dollars um, at the same time the floor uh, on the downside can be pretty pretty high as well and so these ran around 130 to 140 dollars each you get five autographs and two base cards and you're going to see a lot of uh, college football players and maybe even guys that have uh, been drafted already so should be a pretty quick rip for us um, to take a look, see what we can find. I think the, some of the names that I would really enjoy um, getting my hands on would be uh, big players coming into the next uh, you know, 2024 college football season, like Travis Hunter and Shadur Sanders. I'm not even sure if uh, Shadur is, is in this particular product. Um, here you can see how it comes uh in this little case here so we will kind of slice that open and see if we can't get it open safely they used to these products used to just be coming like all top loaders and not this little jewel case but all right already having a little trouble getting it open Here we go, maybe. Boom. All right. That was tough. Okay. So here's how they have them set up. You can see these are the non-autographs at the top. Jimmy Horn Jr. I don't know if he was maybe drafted here recently. Oh, that's a one of one. Well, look at that. So one of one right off the get-go. Jimmy Horn Jr. That looks like uh, maybe maybe he was drafted by the Ravens or something. I see purple. So I'll we'll have to look look into him a little bit, but that's a one of one. Um, sleeve her up here. Next, we get that Bo Jackson. We, of course, pulled a Bo Jackson autograph from a, a different Leaf set. I believe that was maybe press pass. Um, so Bo Jackson here. Here's our first autograph. Xavier Weaver. Um, looking at the Bo Jackson, that's just a refractor, it appears. No numbering on the Bo Jackson. I mean... Draft bound. That makes me think this guy was drafted. I have not heard of him. Um, so I'll have to kind of check check in on him. That's number three of three. So I'm not sure if he was drafted or if he's going to be drafted. That could be the next thing. Next, we have a guy named Nye Carr. Does it stand for New York? New York Carr. So money. N-Y Carr. And another one that I have not heard heard of or heard of before so um, this one is number two nine number nine so no big names just yet next we have Frank Gore Jr. I believe he was either drafted or undrafted but uh, but maybe signed so Frank Gore Jr. I've heard of him of course his dad was a fantastic football player that's number seven out of seven so so many purple um, so far this has not been real good Malachi Nelson looks like he is a USC uh, quarterback would be the guess here you don't of course see the USC anywhere on that list um, this is numbered to 10 out of 10 and I'm unfamiliar with him as well and lastly Omar Cooper Jr. and I mean it it's a cool looking card there's a lot of a lot of these cards look look pretty nice um, number two out of four so they look good, but like I mean, this might be one of the worst, worst leaf boxes we've we've ever pulled potentially, um, because there's not hardly any any names that I recognize. So I'm gonna need to make up a little bit of ground here on box number two. Again, the nice thing about these is that they are heavy on the hits. Um, in this particular case, though, the hits were not of players that. 
that I recognize, which is kind of a bummer. So maybe this one will be a little bit better. Let's hope. Let's hope we get something big in here. Oh, I guess that's the easy way to get these guys out. So taking a look. All right. Here we go. The Roger Staubach on the first one. That is also one of one. So, huh. So two one of ones. One in each box. That's interesting. Looks like we got a Buckeye here coming up. So I assume. What do you think? Buckeye auto autograph there. So NY Carr again. Let's see if it says anything about him. He's a six foot, 175 pound wide receiver committed to Miami in 2024. So he might be a freshman coming in. Maybe there's a lot of hype around him. We'll have to look him up and kind of keep it on. So here we go. Here's the first autograph. It's going to be Brandon Ennis for the Buckeyes. And um, I mean, it's a sweet looking card. Ennis is a wide receiver. He is not the wide receiver that I necessarily wanted. So we a lot of dudes in front of him this year, but that is a one of one. So one of one, Brandon Ennis. And since I'm a Buckeye fan, um, yeah, we'll, we'll take that all day. Next we have J. Michael Sturdivant. Unfamiliar with him. Number two out of eight. Looks like UCLA would be my guess based on the colors there. Next we have Julian Hicks. Looks like he's a receiver for, I don't know, maybe LSU. Let's see. That is number four out of seven. Let's say with honors. Autograph there. Quinshawn Judkins. All right, that's pretty nice. Too bad they don't have him in a Buckeye uniform just yet. So Judkins on the state pride autograph. He, of course, transferred to Ohio State and will be one of the best running backs in the nation. Uh, number six out of eight. And then our last one. Oh, dual auto. Two guys I'm not familiar with. And I'm guessing Penn State is what it looks like. So Keandre Lambert-Smith and Bo Prabula. Um number four out of six. So, yeah, 270 to $280 in, and these were two of the, I think, two of the lower lower return on investment boxes we might have been able to, to get our hands on, unfortunately. Um, but sometimes that's the way it goes. I do think if you want a fun rip and get a chance to get a lot of autographs, um, maybe some young kids, some, some prospects, then this is a decent... Decent way to go. Um, I think the Judkins there is definitely a good one. And um, the Ennis one of one, of course, we will take. So we ended up getting three one of ones here. And uh, some decent autos, but nothing big. Nothing nothing too crazy from these two boxes. So um, let us know what you think. If you're ripping Leaf products or if you think they're a waste of money, um, we're always kind of on the fence. We don't spend a whole lot of money on them but every now and then they can be fun. So hope you enjoyed this until next time, stay curious.